about a refill. To fill something back up again. To have a lot of something. To be satisfied with more than enough. To have plenty of. They say to have plenty of. In Psalms 103 and 5, it says, He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. In this psalm, David testified that God fills his life with good things. Psalms 107 and 9 says, For he satisfied the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Whether actually hunger and thirst or emotional hunger and thirst, our God is able to meet our needs. Amen. your Bibles or you can pull it up on your phones. Acts chapter 2 and I'm going to read 1 through 5. Acts chapter 2 1 through 5. Acts chapter 2 1 through 5 it says and when the day of the Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Acts 2, 1 through 5 was the day of the Pentecost, celebrated 50 days after the Passover. The disciples of Jesus had seen him after his resurrection and witnessed his return to heaven. And the apostles were celebrating this festival when the Holy Spirit descended on them, filled them, filled them. And it sounded like a very strong wind and it looked it like tongues of fire. The apostles then found themselves speaking in foreign languages, different tongues inspired by the Holy Spirit, the Lord filled them with gifts from heaven. Amen. I remember when I was uh, dating my dating my wife. She was about seventeen at the time. She was a fresh cookie. And I went over to her house and she cooked me some breakfast. She made some bacon and some eggs and some homemade biscuits from scratch. She was young, but her cooking was grown. Her cooking was grown. I, when I left out the house, I said, man, I might be. I might keep that one. And then 30 years later, amen. But when I left out that house, she filled me up with that food. And that's what brought me back. If you go to the gas station and you only have $2 in your pocket, and you tell the clerk, let me get $2 on pump three. And a generous person that's standing behind you say, no, 
fill them up. I got them. You're going to remember that person. You're going to remember that person. Feel cause a person place or period of time to have a lot of something. To be satisfied to have more than enough. The scriptures say the fundamental meaning of being filled with the spirit is being filled with joy that comes from God and overflows in songs. Whatever got filled got to get refilled. Your prescriptions, your gas, your bank account, your refrigerator, your stomach. Think about it. When you was in the womb, you physically was attached to your mother by her umbilical cord. After your birth, the cord was cut. And when it healed, it became a belly button. See, what she put in, you don't run out. You just get refilled. Amen. Jesus says, he sanctifies us, he fills us with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And if you run out of your faith and run out of your hope and your peace and your motivation, go back and get a refill. Come on now. Go back to Jesus. Amen. Can I get about 20 people to stand up and tell the Lord, thank you for waking you up this morning. Can I get a couple of people to say, I thank the Lord for all that he's done and what he's about to do. Song. When you get your praise and your shout on, and remember the good things he put in you. When you're running out of your mess, you go back to God to get your prescription refilled. You need more blood pressure pills because you're running around thanking the Lord. Your emptiness, it's filled up with joy. Your loneliness, 